First of all, thanking God, man, you know, for life, for freedom, for health, you know, for not giving us a spirit of fear, but of love and the power and the sound mind, you know. For him who begun a good work in us will see it into the day of completion, you know. I'm looking for my hat. There it go. I like being color coordinated. I love that, you know. You know, standing out, you know, everything flowing, fluently. So, I wanted y'all to let y'all know, you know, don't thank me for what I'm doing, the good. Thank the Lord, you know, it's him that give us the will to do his good pleasure. And, you know, thank my great-great-grandmama, thank my, you know, forefathers, you know, thank my grandpa, thank my parents, you know, honor your mother and father so that your days may be long. That's the first commandment with promise, you know, you want a long life, you know. Like you say in Psalms 91, I will satisfy, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation, you know. So, yeah, thank my teachers. Like I had some teachers at Longfellow, you know, wasn't even my color, but really, really took a liking to me. After school, they really invested time in me. And that 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 quality time, them acts of kindness, that hospitableness, them words, them seeds was planted. And they were watered along the way and they and they blossomed, you know, they sprouted. You know what I mean? You know, so we we reaping a harvest from that, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, I call my 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 people, you know, Rainbow Seal Team or just Rainbow Team, you know, the Rainbow Seal Team. That's what they is though, because you know we don't see color. We Neapolitans, you know what I mean? We love all kinds. We don't discriminate, you know. You can't help what color you is, you know what I mean. And they let me know, even though, you know, the world said one thing, they totally felt a different way because how they treated me, you know. And they never made me feel different. They made me feel closer than some people that share my same DNA. And that's, you know, I, I hate to say it, but it's real. You know, it ain't a lot that act like that, but, you know, we got some. And, you know, I just want to let people that's going through that phase know, you know, I've been there too and, you know, know what it's like and dealt with those things and still do to some extent. And, you know, that's, that's, that's what ensues and entails when you chosen, when you anointed, you know what I'm saying? Blessed are you when they persecute you, you know what I mean? And despise you and, you know, for his sakes, you know what I mean? So, exclude you and all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take a minute to hit my cigarette. Either I gotta lean up or lean back. Either way, is the camera going? Camera's going, so I'm happy about that. I got the word over here with me. Just wanna flash that slash of my sword on you. You know what I mean? Look, look, look how it's marked up. Yeah, oh, your thing, you, they got bodies on it, demon bodies on it. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get in that Old Testament, though. I'm in the know. I'm all in the know. Picture of the babe in there because I'm constantly always praying for her. Pray without ceasing, man. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. And when you pray, believe that you receive what you have asked. It will be given unto you. It will be yours. Action you shall receive. Seeking you shall find. Knocking it shall be open. You know, Matthew 7, 7. So I'm on that. You know what I mean? I'm on that. You know what I mean? Every day I'm putting in my work. You know what I mean? Laboring. I'm knocking, Lord. I'm seeking wisdom out like treasure. And I was reading about it in Proverbs. So I'm going to go back to there. I love how the spirit either lead me or I leave some kind of markings by so it jumps out to me and I know, hey, that's where I need to go. Let me see if I can get to it right now just to see what my timing is like. 
All right, Proverbs is this way, right? Before or after, and you were losing a blue pen, and you were right here on wisdom. Learn to be shrewd, you who are inexperienced. Develop common sense, you who are foolish. Listen, for I speak of noble things, and what my lips say is right. For my mouth tells the truth, and wickedness is detestable to my lips. All of them are clear to the perceptive and right to those who discover knowledge. To set my instruction instead of silver and knowledge rather than pure gold. For wisdom is better than jewels and nothing desirable can compare with it. I, wisdom, share at home with shrewdness. I have knowledge and discretion to, the, to fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate arrogant pride, evil conduct, and perverse speech. I possess good advice and competence. I have understanding and strength. It is by me that kings reign and rulers enact just law. By me, princes lead and as do nobles and all righteous judges. I love those who love me and those who search for me. Find me. With me are riches and honor, lasting wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than solid gold, and my harvest than pure silver. I walk by the way of righteousness along the paths of justice, giving wealth as an inheritance to those who love me and fill in their treasures. The Lord made me at the beginning of his creations before his works of long ago. I was formed before ancient times from the beginning. Before the earth began, I was born when there were no watery depths and no springs filled the water. I was delivered. I was there when he established the heavens, when he laid out the horizon on the surface of the ocean, when he placed the skies above, when the fountains of the ocean gushed out. I was a skilled craftsman beside him. I was his delight every day, always rejoicing before him. I was rejoicing in his inhabited world, delight in the human race. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's wisdom, and I read from Proverbs chapter 8. I read from 5 to 7, and then I ran from chapter 8, 9 to 21. Okay. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, Lord, oh, now I can relax and, and say a little bit what's on my mind, man. I ain't really, I'm just like, okay, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. That's the topic right now, right? Prior preparation prevents poor performance. Okay, now, this is from the other side looking in. Now, I know on that side of the world, it's always been war and people that come from you know, different sections of there are there because either they were had to fight in order to be or something like that. And we always got to be ready to fight. I mean, you got to fight to live. And, you know, you know, you know, research and just, you know, security and improvement, you know, it's just the part of, 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 of of, of surviving and thriving as anything else, you know. You should always be reinforcing, you know, uh, stabilizing, you know, securing, uh, straightening, you know. You should always be, you know what I mean, solidifying, you know. So, they didn't expect to be probably attacked like that, or if they did, they didn't have time enough to prepare or they didn't take the threat serious or who knows. But, you know, now you know it's a war over there. And I pray for them people every day. It's so sad. And my heart goes out to them. And, and when I get in a position to do something for them, I will. You know, I just 
try to stay strong and pray and, you know, I don't try to do my alms or my praying before men because then I have my reward. But I try to pray in the closet and 